So let's go around. Rex! Never a dull moment with you, Shepard. What do you mean by that? You ever go on any missions like ours before? Saving the galaxy from certain destruction? No. <laughs> I've had my share of adventures. Oh! What kind of adventures? Do you remember any that stick out? A few. I remember one time I was hired by a Volus diplomat. What an ass. <laughs> what was the job? What did he want you to do? He wanted me to erase his past. Get rid of an old friend who knew too much. Oh dear. Huh. His old friend turned out to be an Asari companion. Ouch! I can see why that might give you pause. What? No. Alina and I were old friends. Sort of. Hmm? We met when we were both contracted to kill the same Turian. <laughs> Either of us wanted the other one to get him first. <laughs> we spent more time fighting each other <laughs> than tracking that Turian. So who got him then? Which one of you made it first? It was a tie. <laughs> I brought back his head. She got the rest of him. As far as I know, we both got paid. Oh dear. Awesome. <laughs> anyway, when I told Alina about the diplomat's contract, she and I had a good laugh about it. And what happened? So what did you do? Well... I was going to lose the contract, but I respected Alina. In the end, I let her pick the location where we fight. She chose some old Solarian space station overrun with mercs and smugglers. That way we didn't have to worry about hurting any innocent bystanders. No blubber. <laughs> she always was a bit of a softy. <laughs> oh dear. And uh, so, so what happened in the fight? What happened on the station? What didn't happen? For two days, I chased her through that station, used my entire store of ammunition, had to kill a bunch of mercs and use their crap weapons. By the third day, the station was barely holding together. The mercs were dead or gone, life support was failing, but I had her. She locked herself in the med labs. She was trying to patch herself up. Damn tough, that one. Then just when I thought I had her, the station's core went critical. Barely made it back to my ship in time. Did she get out? I assume the Asari Commando didn't make it? I watched the station from a distance. I never saw her leave. And when that place blew, there was nothing left larger than a Turian's right nut. So I headed back to the diplomat to give him the good news and collect my pay. But before I got halfway there, Alina sent me a message. Better luck next time. <laughs> now, I'm not superstitious, but if someone can survive that, <laughs> well, they deserve to live. At least, for a bit longer. What happened with the Volus? What about the diplomat? He wanted her dead. I told him the truth. <laughs> Alina was still alive and she was really pissed. Oh dear. I told him if he wanted to live, <laughs> he'd need me around to protect him. Well played. You're smarter than you look, Rex. <laughs> he kept me on as his personal guard until he died. Natural causes. Easiest job I've ever had. A little boring, but credits are credits. Oh, I see. So long, Rex. That's no, I see. I see and so long do not go together. Don't mean the same thing. Codex. Krogan biology. Oh, we're going to talk about the genophage again. That depressed me last time. The Krogan evolved in a lethal ecology. Over millions of years, the Grim struggled to survive larger predators, virulent diseases, and resource scarcity on their homeworld, Tachanka. Tachanka? 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 No, it doesn't sound right. 
to whatever. No, I've got, no, I want to pronounce things. Resource scarcity on the homeworld. Tachanka turned the lizards into quintessential survivors. Perhaps the most telling indicator of Tachanka's lethality is the Krogan eyes. Although they are a predator species by any standard definition, their eyes evolved to be wide set, as in Earth prey species. Yes, like deer, cattle, rabbits. Da 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 da. Krogan eyes have a 240 degree arc of vision, better suited for spotting enemies sneaking up on them than for pursuit. Physically, the Krogans are nigh indestructible, with a tough hide impervious to any melee weapon short of a molecular blade. Whatever that is, I'm guessing it's a blade that's been sharpened and honed down to a molecular thin point. Um, and again, some molecules can be huge. I'm looking at you, organic chemistry. While they feel pain, it does not affect their ability to concentrate. They have multiple functioning examples of all major organs, and can often survive the loss of one or two of any type. They're Time Lords! Um, rather than the nervous system, they have an electri electri ele ele the ele electrically conductive second circulatory system. A Krogan can never be paralysed. They may lose some of this fluid, but it can be replaced by the body in time. The hump on a Krogan's back stores, ti stores time, stores water and fat, and fats that help the Krogan survive lean times. They're Time Lord camels! Wow. Large humps are a point of pride. Being well fed implies the Krogan is a superior predator. The most widely known biological feature of the Krogan is their incredible birth rate and rapid maturity. Once freed from the hostile cauldron of Tuchanka, Tuchanka, the Krogan population swelled into a numberless horde. Only the Genophage kept them from outbreeding the combined council races. Now, the rare Krogan females, capable of bringing a child to term, are treated like strategic resources. Warlords will trade them at diplomacy, or, more frequently, <laughs> their Krogan fight wars over them. Right. Let's chat with Tally and quick save because she might be experimenting again. That's only happened once, but I'm kind of a little bit unnerved by it. Tally! Hey Shepard, do you need something? Can I talk to you about no, okay. I should go. You don't have See you, later. you don't have a new conversation for me, I'm sad. Engineer Adams! Something I can do for you, Commander. Uh nope. Carry on, Adams. Aye aye. So we'll go upstairs, we'll chat to Liara, Caden, um, uh, um, Joker, probably. Someone else I should be talking to, isn't there? No, no, that, no, no, that's it, that's it, that's it. I could try talking to Presley. But, I mean, I don't think they had anything new, though someone, people have said that Joker sometimes says thing, new things, that it's worth chatting to him, but... I don't think any, anyone else is. Caden! Anything you need, Commander? Uh, looking for personal input. Just trying to get a sense of where the crew's at. Thoughts? We're all in for the duration. You can count on everyone to do their duty. Mm, tactical appraisal. What's your opinion on the last mission? Killing Saren's. Uh, I'm sure Dr. Okay. Yeah, we've already asked this conversation. We'll talk another time, Lieutenant. Commander? We've already had that kind of discussion, so... Maybe Liara says something, because we've taken her on a mission, so maybe that affects it. But we've taken Caden on a mission! And Tally! And they, they didn't have anything new. Maybe there's only a finite new... No, that makes no sense. I get the feeling you want to ask me something, Commander. Nothing important. I just wanted to talk. Fair enough. What did you want to talk about? Nothing. I should go. Goodbye, Commander. This is... Hmm... Conduct Jackwas. Yes, Commander? Is there something you need? No. I should go. Goodbye, Commander. <sighs> this is weird, like, why why, why didn't everyone have, have conversations? New stuff. New conversation stuff, if we're actually talking in the correct order and trying to form sensible grammatical sentences. Is grammatical a word? I 
think it is, but I'm not sure. It's one of those really annoying words that make sense, and then you say them, and suddenly they don't anymore. Let's chat with Joker. Do you have, do you say something new as well? Commander, something you need? Um, I just wanted to talk. I like to know my crew. Mind if I ask you a few questions? <laughs> I can. You right. top of my class in flight school. I earned that. All what those commendations in my what you, you mean? Okay. Even put the Normandy in my hands, and I'll make her dance for you. Just don't ask me to get out. I have to go. Right, I must you. go. Say so, okay. That's kind of annoying because I thought that everyone would kind of get conversation bits at the same time. Obviously not. So yeah. So um, we have another quest here in um, the Hades. 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 The Hades Gamma. That's the hostage. Um, now we have this doctor in the Kepler Verge. I think we'll do the hostage, then we'll do this doctor, and then we'll head off and do Ferros. Hmm. We're actually getting onto the main quests again. This is <laughs> going to be a bit weird. I mean, they're, they're normally longer. I mean, I got through two, and if I'd not conversed, I might have been able to get through a third. Who knows? Um... Yeah, so next time, we're going to deal with this hostage. Thanks for watching.